please make welcome Kentucky Speaker of the House, Greg Stumbo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for being here this dreary Monday morning. You know, one of my favorite American presidents, Congressman Rogers, once remarked that it's amazing what you can accomplish when you don't care who gets the credit. And that was Ronald Reagan. A lot of people ask rhetorically through the years, what's wrong with Eastern Kentucky? Well, there's a lot of things that we could say. We don't have a navigable river. We don't have a four-lane highway system and we don't have a public four-year college. We can blame God, perhaps, for the river situation, but we ought to blame ourselves, to some degree, for the other two. There's good news and bad news in that statement, ladies and gentlemen. The bad news is that that's the current state of affairs. The good news is that as we speak today, and for some time before today, Representative Leslie Combs, working with the Bashir administration, is formulating a plan which I hope will be adopted in the state's four-year road plan in this upcoming session that will once and for all set in motion a strategic plan to four-lane the Mountain Parkway. And thank you, Leslie. The other good news is that a year and a half ago, Governor Bashir commissioned a study to look at the feasibility of bringing the University of Pikeville into the public college system. The study confirmed that we lack the ability to deliver opportunities for our children to obtain four-year college degrees. Governor Patton, Representative Combs, Representative Jones, and others, and I pleaded that case. But because of the dire situation that we find ourselves in this economy, obviously the money was not quite available at that time. But what happened was that Governor Bashir, and thank you, Governor, recognized the need and commissioned a pilot program using $4 million in severance tax monies to create the Cole County College Com Completion Scholarship Fund. That fund, as of today, has benefited 409 young students throughout Eastern Kentucky. 91 of those students, Governor Patton, graduated from one of our four-year colleges or our community colleges with a four-year degree. And the average award to each student was $2,723. I'm proud to say that Dr. Wayne Andrews of Moorhead State and our college representatives and others have recognized the value of this program and now support making that program permanent. Representative Combs and I had a bill in the last session that actually passed both chambers but didn't quite make it to the governor's desk on time before we had to adjourn. And we'll be back to make that program current, or permanent rather, in this session. That's another part of good news. And if you think about what 400 kids do to a region as large as Eastern Kentucky, maybe we sometimes uh, don't believe that that's just more than a drop in the bucket. It's more than just a drop in the bucket if you do what Governor Bashir and Congressman Rogers challenged you to do and have a vision for the future and realize that 10 years from now, that means 4,000 young people who have college degrees who likely will stay here and become the entrepreneurs, Terry, that we need in this region. So thank you, Governor Bashir, and thank those of you, Dr. Andrews and others who worked on this project. Ladies and gentlemen, Another American president who was a favorite of mine once said, there's nothing wrong with America that we can't fix with what's right with America. That was Bill Clinton. I would echo those words to you today. There's nothing wrong with Eastern Kentucky that we can't fix with what's right with Eastern Kentucky. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs>